Okay, so the final lesson on averages is averages from group data. Now, this is only a slightly different skill to averages from tables, um, but we do need to show you this just so that you're not completely alien to it. So there's your LO. Your key points um, are that sometimes data in a table is grouped. Now, what this means is that we don't know the exact values in the data, but we can still find the average groups. Now, these groups have a special name. They're called class intervals, and you need to know this because they'll mention this in the GCSE questions. Um, the methods are very similar to averages in a table, as you'll see. Um, it's only for the mean of group data that you have to add one more step. So we're going to move on to a worked example now once you've written down those key points. OK, so some students sat a physics exam. The time they spent revising is shown in the table. Now, these are what I mean by class intervals, and this is what I mean by the data being grouped. So what this means is 27 students revised for between 0 and 5 hours, because this means H, number of hours, was greater than 0, but less than or equal to 5. 44 students revised for between 5 and 10 hours, 21 between 10 and 15, and 8 between 15 and 20. Now, the first question, write down the modal class interval. So this just means write down the modal group. This is exactly the same method as finding the mode from a table. So we look in our frequency column. We're looking for the most frequent, which is obviously 44. Now, that doesn't mean that 44 is the most frequent. It means that the class interval 5 to 10 is the modal class interval. So our answer is H is greater than 5 but less than or equal to 10. And you need to write down the whole group exactly as it's written in the table. So that's just one mark. The next is find the class interval that contains the median. Again, it's very similar method to the previous um, lesson. The first thing we need to do is the num total number of numbers here. So when you add up these numbers, 27, add 44, add 21, add eight, it gives you 100. And then we do the 100 plus 1 divided by 2, and that gives you 50.5 value. So that's what your answer, you're looking for the 50.5 value. And once again, you go back to your frequency column and you add up going downwards until you get beyond 50.5. So 27 isn't beyond 50.5, so you go to the next one. 27 add 44 is 71. Therefore, we can see that the 50.5 value must be in this group here, this class interval, um, because 71 is bigger than 50.5. So our answer for the class interval, which contains the median, is also 5 to 10. So that's our answer for the median. OK, our final question um, is about the mean. Now, when it says here estimate, it doesn't mean that you have to round anything which is the other type of estimation in maths. What it means is that you can't give an exact value for the mean um, because we don't know exactly what the values are in these groups. So when it says it's an estimate, it just means you do the exact same method um, as before. Uh, the only thing we have to do differently is obviously we can't do this whole group times by 27, we're going to have to find the midpoint first because that's what we need to multiply by the frequencies. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a column onto your table and you're going to call it MP and that stands for midpoint and you're going to write down the midpoints of each group. So what I mean by midpoint is what number is halfway between 0 and 5. So halfway between 0 and 5 is 2.5, halfway between 5 and 10 is 7.5, Halfway between 10 and 15 is 12.5 and halfway between 15 and 20 is 17.5. Once you've found your midpoints, these are what we're going to use to multiply by the frequencies. So your final column, you will title it midpoint times F, which means midpoint times frequency. And then we times all these numbers together. Now, when you do that, you get 67.5. So that's 27 times 2.5, you get 330, which is 44 times 7.5, you get 262.5, which is 21 times 12.5, and you get 140, which is 8 times 17.5. Now, once you've done that, same as when we did averages in a table, we add these up. So when you add these up, you get 800. 
And then final step is doing the numbers added together divided by how many there are, so divided by 100. So our final step is to do 800 divided by 100, which is obviously 8. So the estimate for the mean is 8 hours spent revising, okay? Now, double check again. Are all of these averages roughly the same? So obviously these two are the same, so that's helpful. And 8 does lie in this group between 5 and 10. So, yep, that's reassuring. So make sure that you've got that worked example written down before we move on to a your turn question. Okay, so what you should do now is have a go at this question on your own and we'll go through the solutions, but pause your video, have a go at this question and then you can see how you did. Okay, so part A says write down the modal class interval. So what you should have done, looked at the frequency, seeing that 31 was the highest, which means that 30 to 40 is our modal class interval. Again, you have to write it down exactly as it says in the table. Okay, the next one, find the class interval that contains the median. So first things first, we need to know what these things are added together. And when you add these up, you get 80. And then we do the same method, 80 add one divided by two gives you 40.5 value. And then we have to go down the frequency column until we get beyond 40. So when you do three add seven, you get 10. Add 12, you get 22. Add 31, you get 53. So this one here is the first time it's gone beyond 40.5. So that means that our median is that group there. So the median is 30 to 40. And your final question is an estimate for the mean. So the first thing we have to do is find the midpoints. So the midpoints of these are 5, 15, 25, 35 and 45. And then we're going to multiply these midpoints by the frequencies and you fill out that final column. So 3 times 5 is 15, 7 times 5 is 105, 12 times 25 is 300, 31 times 35 is 1085, and 27 times 45 is 1215. So once you get these, you have to add this column up. So when you add these up, you get 2720. And then the final step is to do all the numbers added together divided by the number of numbers. So 2720 divided by 80, and that gives you 34. So just make sure that you've got all that correct and you've got that written down. And then what I'd like you to do is move on to the worksheet, averages from group data. There is a different document that are the solutions for you to self-assess. And then you can get on with the exit card and send that to your teachers.